Okay, all right, now we're gonna go over placing your hydraulics and how to test to make sure that you did the airframe correctly. Okay, now if you notice, there's uh, six hydraulics on uh, on the plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out my hydraulic tool. Just set the width to whatever you want. Make sure it's not fixed. I'm going to hit the upper left hand corner of the uh, vertical stabilizer and then hit the lower right hand co left hand corner of the uh, elevator. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just put the controller right in the middle on each side just for, you know, just to make it clean. Then for the ailerons, I'm just going to take hydraulic, put it from right in the middle to right in the middle of the other one. Now I'm going to take another hydraulic and put it directly in the exact same place as the other hydraulic just to give it double the strength. That's going to help us so that we won't have any issues. Whoops, I just accidentally got into the seat. That's the annoying thing about seats, but what do you do? Now I'm just going to put uh, the controllers on either side of these little things that stick up. So there's just basically two hydraulics in the exact same spot doubling the strength. That helps you out with things like that sometimes. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for placing the hydraulics. Now I'm going to put an advanced uh, advanced pod controller on it. I'll right-click on the advanced pod controller and right-click on the seat to link it to the seat. I'm making this tutorial expecting that you've done some wire work before, by the way. If you haven't, you might want to look into that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and place our thrusters. I mean, there's only one thruster, I guess, whatever, but, um, do that. Just go to your wire thruster tool. Just have whatever values it says on the thing, you know, bi-directional, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just have everything that it says in the video. It's probably default, it's probably good. And we're just going to place it as centered as we can on the back of the uh, front of the plane, because we're doing a front engine plane. So just, since there's no smart snap points inside the thing, just center it by eye as best as you can and then just stick it on. If it's not perfect, as long as it's close, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, now that we are uh, done placing that, uh, let me video proceed a bit more. I think I'm going to actually, now I'm going to test the uh, flight model of the plane, so I'm going to dupe it and then make sure that I place place it original angles. I dupe things because if you unfreeze it before it, saving the dupe, then it screws things up. Just like that. Like, uh, <laughs> if you noticed, I forgot to place my ball sockets on that version of the tape before I duped it. So it ended up, all the ball sockets end up falling down. You would have screwed your entire thing up if you forgot that. But anyway, uh, here's the dupe. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw it, because we don't have any wire ink done, but we just want to see if it can fly all right. It's gliding just like it should. The nose should come down a little bit, because the thruster, uh, it'll counteract. It's falling like that, and we really aren't throwing it as fast as it can move anyway. So you don't have to worry about any of that, but this thing, it, it flies just fine. You're going to want to test it just to make sure that it doesn't, like, flop, because then you probably did something wrong. Anyway... Uh, now that we are, now that we're done with that, uh, next I think we're going to do the wiring, I mean the expression, and then we'll, then we'll do the wiring, and then we're almost done.